What's up, everybody? What's up, Kitch? How's it going? Let me move that for a second. How's everybody doing? Pause. Happy Wednesday. Today is the vegetable highlight day of the week. So today, still working? Uh, Siri, I didn't say anything. Please don't do that. Thank you. Technology, man. Got to be careful. Anyway, like I was saying, my name is Ed Harris, and today I am doing a vegetable highlight. All right? We're just going to focus on a particular vegetable and just treat it very amazingly, but also just showcase that particular vegetables with not a lot of bells and whistles, not adding up too many different things just so we can really make this vegetable the star. And you might say, what vegetable is that? And, and I'll be happy to tell you that it's a artichoke, artichoke. All right. Now, working in restaurants, you know, as a young lad, a wee lad, right? I remember cleaning artichokes. The first time I saw it, like actually saw an artichoke right? It was, I was like, what is that? Like, what do you even do? How do you even eat this? And then of course, the very tips, which are super pointy, like a rose, you know, thorns, that does some serious damage. Um, but we would have to do cases of artichokes because we had a dish. Um, what restaurant was this? I think this was Michael's in New York. And we had a dish that it was just grilled artichokes with like a beautiful aioli, very simple, so we're gonna kind of mimic that today. And the last, when I worked at this place was probably 2006 or something like that, like pretty crazy. Anyway, let's jump into it, right? A quick thing about artichokes, right? What I think is cool about it is the fact that this is actually a flowering bud that gets harvested before it blooms. Right, this actually is supposed to turn into a flower, but us humans figured out that it's very delicious before it turns into the flower. So here we are today talking about artichokes and we're gonna actually cook some up and enjoy them, right? So that's one cool tip. They are packed with fiber, which is great. Um, if cooked well, they taste amazing, all right? But there's certain things you need to know and pay attention to when you're handling artichokes. All right, first things first, the very ends are very statty, prickly, so be careful with that. That's one. Two, they can kind of get sticky or stained depending on how you treat them. Four, they oxidize very, very quickly. So what I have here is artichokes in lemon water. All right, I took one whole lemon, squeezed it into the bowl, Everything is in there. Juice, the pieces, the leftovers of the lemon, everything. That keeps our artichokes from turning dark brown. All right, that's what I mean by oxidation. So you have to handle these very quickly and you have to be very purposeful and intentful when you're handling these. So I'm going to get my water on to boil because as soon as I'm done cleaning this baby, we'll be able to put them in the water and... This particular recipe, there, there are different ways you can do as um, you can do artichokes, right? You can peel off all of these like I did, cut off the whole top, scoop out the chokes, which I'm going to show you a little later on. And the chokes are literally these super spiny, very needle looking like things inside the middle of the artichoke. And that part of the artichoke is actually the heart of the artichoke. And that's the part that we eat that has all of that delicious yumminess that's in the middle of the artichoke all right because the leaves especially like these right here these have nothing all right the very outer leaves so you want to get rid of those all right so we peel these down all right until we start seeing some tender leaves now if you wanted to some restaurants some places some chefs you go they'll give you like the whole artichoke no leaves peeled off all right and what they do is they'll just cook the whole thing, slice it in half, 
all right, and then grill it. So we're sort of doing a version of that, all right? I just like to show just trimming it just a little bit. It also adds to the aesthetics and it just makes this look really, really nice. So I peel off a couple outer layers, especially the ones that don't look that great, all right? And we can leave the rest like this because the minute you start seeing this yellowish part right here, that means you're getting to the tenderoni, all right? So we wanna be very careful. So we don't wanna peel too much into that unless we're trying to get rid of all the leaves. Then, you know, you can just slice it off right here, all right? So you see there's an indentation right here, like there's a groove. That's where you would slice to get rid of the leaves if you didn't want to use the leaves, all right? But we're going to keep the leaves because the cool thing about grilling your artichokes whole is that once you cook them in the blanched water and you cut them in half, you grill them, right? When you're serving it, all you have to do is peel off the leaves. The leaves will come off very easily and then you can just dip it into your dip and voila, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to trim this up. We just cut off a very little piece of the bottom. If you don't have a knife like this, this is a tourney knife. If you don't have one of these, you can use one of these. This is like a paring knife. It's a little long, right? But um, any kind of paring knife works really great for things like this, all right? So we have this, we have this skin here, this part of the skin that's not edible, all right? So what I like to do is I just trim this really rough outer part and I cut it down like that, all right? Now you wanna be very careful. You don't wanna cut yourself, all right? Because once this gets cooked, everything that we peel off from here, we will be able to enjoy and eat. All right, so this is done, all right? We leave it like that. Now the tips here, they can be pointy. If you think they're gonna prick some people, then you can, you know, trim off a little like this, you see? I trim off just the very top of it. You can do that, you can take a scissors, you can take a serrated knife, whichever is easy for you. Let's crank this baby up. And clean as we go, of course. By the way, I just wanna say thank you for everyone joining me today. And of course, where is it, where is it? All right, we'll pull that away later. Um, when you sign on, when you get to the channel, all right, my kids channel, or if you just, when you're up top, if you look at the very top, you're going to see something where it says sign up for a newsletter. If you put in my number, which is 493, you get all the alerts, all the updates, especially like right now, I have the whole month schedule already. So you will be getting these updates of when to join my stream. All right. Water's about to boil. Now, the second part of this, to really get some more lemons on here to make sure that they don't oxidize, you take one lemon, another lemon, you take just a half, all right? I'm gonna pour this water out since I don't need it anymore. Okay. Out you go, out you go. All right, then I put the artichokes in and I squeeze this lime all over the artichoke, the lemon, I should say, all right? the acid from the lemon, the acidity, it stops this from oxidizing and it keeps a really nice color. So make sure that you really lemon these babies, all right? Lemon is your best friend when it comes to artichokes, okay? So you can even take this and put it into your boiling water if you want, no worries, all right? So let me adjust this so you can see. Okay, so water's going right in, water's going in. Artichokes are going in the water. I'm gonna just cover this for a second, let it boil. Okay, so we have that going for us, which is nice, all righty. Okay, next up, all right, next up, next up. We're going to get our oil ready, okay? I'm gonna do some garlic real quick. Okay, so what we're doing is using another opportunity to add some flavor to our artichokes, all right? Because what's grilled artichokes without some really nice lemon, some garlic, 
some extra virgin olive oil, you know, all that good stuff. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a must. All right. Artichokes, we're going to boil those for about 10 minutes or so. You know, it really depends on the size of artichokes you have. Like sometimes they can get really big. I got these actually at the farmer's market. So they are super fresh, young and tender. Um, so they won't need that long to cook. All right. But we have a few things to work on while that is boiling up real nice. Okay, garlic is peeled. Be right back. Okay. Let's get these little unwanted pieces off. Oh, so little note, my daughter and I were making, um, we made, we made uh, cinnamon rolls this morning. They taste so good. Um, actually, look, so I can show you. Look at that. Exactly. Whew. So we made an overnight dough. It's the first time we tried the recipe out this way we totally changed it up we did a combination of actually two recipes but the outcome of it amazing amazing I, i'm literally i had to stop myself from eating two more out of that bag because they're just so good you know and it was so easy to make i mean we made the dough last night we put it into the fridge so it can proof nice and slow we took it out this morning. It was ready to go. Gave it a little bit of, you know, love in, you know, punched it down. And then we rolled it out, add the cinnamon, and it's not too sweet. You know, sometimes you go and you buy cinnamon rolls and it's just like, I mean, every time I go and I buy it from certain places, I have to tell them light on the icing. Like, it's just too much. Like, there's no need for all that sugar. Anyway. These were amazing. Shout out to Emma. I don't know if she's watching, but she did really good this morning. That's my 12-year-old uh, daughter. Okay, so while this is cooking, you just saw we minced our garlic. This is just going to be a nice little garlic oil for what we're going to rub on before we grill it. All right? So we don't need too much. Yeah, that's good. All right? Put that over there and what i wanted to do was add a little bit of lemon juice to this and you know and i'll tell you right now the recipe is already added on to this stream so you can totally check it out and you'll notice a few things different because that's how we roll you know it's all about improvising it's all about pushing the envelope. So you see it, you do it, you don't, it's totally up to you. But you know, garlic, olive oil, and lemon right now is just a match made in heaven. You know this smells good. All right. Okay, pastry brush is somewhere else. All right, place your brushes ready. We used it this morning for the buttering of the cinnamon buns. All right, so I think our artichokes are ready. Let me get my slotted spoon. And I'll check one. Yes, these are ready. So let's drain them. Turn this off. Okay. And let's put these on a plate. 
Okay. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, the idea is with these, you don't want to cook them to the point where it's falling apart, but you also want to cook it enough, all right? So you definitely want to pay attention to the size of the artichokes you have because it is going to be a different cooking time based on how big or small they are, okay? that in the sink is there the clean towel over here you know it's super important to clean as you go you know you can't just keep cooking and dirtying up the place you know all right so we just want these artichokes to cool down a little bit before we handle them so that way we're not like oh. you know what i mean let's move this here Okay, so you can see the steam action there. Whoa, we whoa. Okay. Put that over there, put that over there. Okay, so there's a step that we have to do with this just to clean it out to make this a little bit more easy for us to do our eating. All right, so I'll put that to the side. All right, we don't need this right now. We don't need this right now. Okay, so let's, I thought about it. Let's do a little dip, right? Because we don't want to just serve artichokes as is. All right, so let me get a little bowl in the spoon. Let me grab some mayonnaise out of the fridge. Okay, so what I think we're gonna do for our dip, we're gonna take a little bit of whole grain mustard, about a teaspoon, not too much. We don't need too much. I don't want too much whole grain mustard, all right? And then we're going to go with all of my mayonnaise, which is, let's say, two tablespoons. Temperature. Hmm. Sorry about that, guys. My phone says it's getting too hot in here. So maybe I can put it over on this side and just use one side of the grill and um, we'll go from there. So once this cools down, I will adjust it and we'll see what happens. All right, so bear with me for now. In the meantime, the action is right here anyways. Okay. So we have about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. All right. I'll take a little bit of cilantro that I have in some ice water. All right, it's a nice way to brighten up and bring back your herbs to life. Okay, we're gonna just chop this up real quick. Maybe I should put my phone in the freezer. What do you guys think? You think that'll, you think that'll work? Because it's still pretty hot. Right? And then you're going to see inside of my fridge. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's see if it cools it down. <laughs> okay, serious business here. All right, so let's get this cilantro. Drop that right in there. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, and a little bit of Old Bay, right? Why not? Why not? A little bit of Old Bay, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. And we're gonna hit it with some delicious Meyer lemon olive oil, all right? And if you don't have flavored olive oil like this, like a lemon flavored olive oil, you can totally just use a really nice olive oil, all right? Look at that. 
30 seconds, we have a delicious dip for our artichoke. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. It can stay nice and cold. <laughs> when I say in the oven, I mean in the fridge. Ed, what are you talking about? Okay, now let's get the camera here so we can see the cutting board perfect. Now I'm gonna work on the artichokes. So we just wanna cut them in half, all right? And when you cut them in half, just pay attention to the stem, the angle that the stem is pointing towards. Make sure that you're going with that so you don't bend it opposite you know, to the opposite side and then in turn breaking it. All right. Beautiful. So right inside of our artichokes. So what we want to do now is scoop this part out here. So these, these right here, this is the choke, right? It looks like fern, but trust me, they do serious damage, all right? So what you can do is, if you look at the heart of the artichoke, you can see where it starts and where it ends, and you can just cut right below that. It makes it super easy to scoop it out like this, see? And then we can cut a little bit more, and then we just get rid of this inner part right here, because this is the part that we don't, need all right see these here they will prick you see but this is the flower as well the petals right that are about to bloom such a cool plant all right so you get rid of a few of the insides right because this part and if you buy artichokes in the can like baby artichokes or canned artichokes this is the part that you're getting, that you're eating, but a much younger version of it, all right? So this is perfectly ready to go. We scraped out the inside. Look, see? Yes. So this is how we would do our artichoke. So I'm gonna just put this right here and I'll do the rest. My phone, let's see, still saying blank. Ah, it's back. All right, let's try this again. Okay, it's not showing up there, but pause. Disconnect. Okay, let's try it again and see. Yes, we're back in action. Okay, whoops. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, perfect. All right, see, we didn't give up and we're back in action. Okay, I know you guys are waiting for the most amazing part. So let's just finish this up. Get rid of the chokes. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's do another one. We'll do one more. This is almost therapeutic, guys. And you want to make sure you get rid of all the choke because it's not pleasant to eat on either. It, you know, it, it's not a good mouth feel. It's like, get rid of all of it. All right. And cooking your artichokes first, then scraping it out is definitely one of the easier ways to get rid of it because otherwise you're, you're scraping really hard with a spoon or a knife. And if you're not, quite familiar with artichokes, then it could possibly be a problem. All right? Okay. We're done. Okay, we're gonna clean up so we can brush this on. I 
remember, we have to work clean. Always. Okay, so I'll put this on the board because now we're gonna do the fun part. Actually, we can do it on the plate since we have to transfer it to the grill. Okay, so I was being lazy and I didn't do the grill outside because then it'll be a lot, trying camera, da 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 da. But you know, you can do this kind of grill in your house. All right, just makes things way easier. All right, so you take your lemony garlic oil and you just brush all of this stuff, all right? You make sure you get all of the inside, all right? You brush every single part of it. Okay, don't be shy. This is not the time to be shy. Okay, you want to love on your artichoke, all right? You want to let it know that you love it, okay? Then you flip it over and you brush a little on the outside, the backside of it, all right? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so we're good to go, all right? These are all glistening and nice. Okay. Put this to the side, and this olive oil smells so good. So now check me out on the big top. All right. Did that work? Okay, awesome. So you want to go flat side, but before we do that, I'm going to take a little bit of oil and just rub it on my, on my grill just to be extra safe in terms of sticking. Okay. Down, 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 down. All right, and we want a char on these, okay? We wanna get them really nice and charred, okay? That's the whole point. So we're gonna leave these on there. Fingers crossed, smoke detector behaves, and we're all good. All right, in the meantime, I'll get the rest ready. Da -da -da. Slice, slice. This is such a, a beautiful plant. All right. Yeah, we got time with those. We wanna we wanna get a nice char on them. Okay. Hope everybody's doing well, by the way. All right, as soon as those are charred, we are home. We are done. It's in the bag. You know, it's crazy. Cleaning this like this in a weird way reminds me of cleaning fish. You know, like getting rid of the gills or something like that. I know it's, it's crazy, but just taking out the chokes reminded me of that, which is cuckoo. All right, last one. Oh, that one came out super easy. Okay. I can smell a little bit of garlic burning, which is great. So after we brush these, we'll put them on and we'll be able to Flip the other ones. Okay. Let's do it. Yes. Ah, look at that. That's awesome. You can 
put the rest on. And we'll leave these over here because we know we just added them. Time to play it up, all right? So let's flip our board, put that there, get all of that out of the way. Okay, we have our plate. Let's slice our lemons. So with lemons, you know, you can do wedges, you can do slices. Um, I'll kind of do wedges just because I like to squeeze juice onto my grilled artichokes, which is great. So we can just do quarters like that. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Let's get our dip. That looks amazing. And look at that. It's set. All right. Awesome. We'll put a little bit of uh, OB on top just for color, presentation. All right. Okay. So let's hit this with a little bit of salt and pepper right on the grill. Now for our pepper. Okay, I'll put the vent on. It's been doing good so far. I don't want to, you know what I mean? Okay, let's do this. We will bring. But so far, yes, all is good. All is good. There we go. There we go. All righty. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the plate up. Well, for the plate up, you would need to see what I'm doing instead of just cooking. Whoops, whoops. There we go. All right, let's do this. Let me turn this here. All right. <laughs> all right. So we have our sauce, our dip, all right? We have our beautifully grilled artichokes, all right? Look at that. Boom. Let's go this way, all right? Then we have our lemon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our grilled artichokes are done. I'm actually going to 
no, I have to take a picture so I can't really eat it right now. But you get the idea, right? Super simple, packed with a ton of antioxidants, fiber, you name it. There it is. I'll see it next week. Let me open up the door. There we go. So let me end this quickly. Like I was saying, thank you for joining me. Cook well, eat well, be well. All right. I will see you next week, Tuesday, where we do another delicious dish, all plant based. All right. Ciao, everybody. <laughs>